it's a perfect place for a Viking shipyard. Imagine building a ship there, dragging it out to the sea. I'm down in the valley and this place is crazy. My detector just go beep 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 beep. Let's find evidence for buildings, ships, ship nails and such. I will try to dig up the best signals and see if we can put an edge to this place. The team made a fantastic discovery. A bird figure and our ornithologist on the team identified it as an owl. We are not yet sure of the age. You can clearly see it's an, an owl. Maybe from the end of a stick. Maybe the tribes here were trying to replicate the Roman eagle. And this is the best they could come up with. It was over there and the hole started to fill up with water and I managed to salvage this guy. That's a trade weight. Very heavy, very heavy. I think it says number three there. Not exactly sure. And back here is probably some kind of stamps indicating the validity of the trade weight. What really fires me up with finds like this is that if you find trade weights, you know that there's been trade here and then people have been bartering, goods have been exchanged, money might have been dropped. Not that old, we can certainly go older than this, but very good find and good possibilities for treasure. It's a very good location, wind sheltered, hidden from prying eyes from the sea, hidden from raiders, connecting far-flung places like that woodland there. Hmm, maybe there could have been a road. Perhaps, perhaps, or just some simple huts there. Boy, oh boy, was I right. Silver next to the trade weight. Woohoo! I might be onto something here. My theory is working out really, really well. That took me by surprise since the signal was not very good. Then, uh, Then uh, the other side, Christian the tent. I believe it says 1918 in down to the right. Not completely 100% silver, maybe 50-40%. It has corroded a little bit. Here's something interesting. I don't believe it's silver. The signal on my metal detector did not indicate silver. It's lightweight, has a pattern and a hole. If it wouldn't be for the hole, I would say it's a bell. But it could still be from a cattle bell, a sheep bell. I'm not sure. I had a bit of a medical incident, cut my finger. But now I'm all patched up. I dug a really, really deep hole and I tried to get in with my hand and reach for it for the treasure, but I cut myself, went straight through the glove. So I'm gonna have lunch now and then head back out there to finish that hole. I think there's something really good down there. Rounding up my lunch with some hot coffee. And I was thinking here when I was lunching that I believe I found a place with increased farming activity. Maybe a barn because I found in a small area a couple sack seals and sack seals were used for the sacks with grains that they threw out on the fields. And also more um, lead scrap around. 
I'm back here at the dip hole where I left it after my accident and surprise surprise it's filled with water I get a very good signal here something is deep and down there I have to scoop up the water and then we'll get to the treasure what a disappointment it looks like iron maybe it's the ring that goes around the barrel here's another another one and here's one of those glasses that I cut myself on I don't think it's too old so maybe it's just a barrel of trash that the farmers left out here <sighs> oh well on we go nice coin in the hole one rigs bank shilling 1800 something 1840 maybe 30 20 some kind of a portrait on the back side nice find let's continue so much iron in the ground which is interesting because our maps don't show any kind of building here for the last 200 years I will try to dig up the best signals in between the trash and see if we can put an edge to this place flower button with a nice nipple could be 1700s probably 1800s this right here is the most beautiful signal you could ever hope for to get small high pitch it's more than likely to be a big silver coin if this really is a silver coin I want to see those subscribers rolling in. Here we go. Here we go. I'm so stoked. Ah. Okay. There. Oh yeah, here's the side. Ho oh, oh. ho! I see roundness. <laughs> Let's go get it. There! Do you see that, guys? Oh man, that looks ancient. What kind of a coin? It's not silver, it's a copper coin. I better watch this. I ran out of squirt juice. I don't know, it's not too old, maybe 1800s, which is still ancient for the Americans. Nice one, not the silver I was hoping for, but a coin is a coin and I can use it to buy beer tonight in the pub. I finally discovered something that will give me an edge to this place. Christian X and what does it say? 1943 Nazi occupied Denmark. And besides this in the same hole I got the uh, big tile. These finds leads me to believe that we're talking about a uh, building here. Uh, lots and lots of trash. It's a nightmare to detect here. We have finds that confirm the map from the early 1800s. Coins, these are 1850, 60 ish. But this one really confirms that agriculture was taking place on this field. That's a sack seal. The sack seal is a very common find where farming has taken place. It was used on uh, sacks of grain that the farmers would bring here and the grains would be spread out on the field. And let's hunt the area between the burial mounds next. I'm sure there's some bronze edge stuff lying around because they have to be connected to burial mounds next to each other. I'm sure people would have walked from one to the other or maybe hanged around there. 
in the middle, dancing, drinking, dropping stuff. <laughs>